Juan voices here and LeBlanc is busted. It's disgusting and we need to talk about it and how to counter it. Let's do this. So, uh, this is just one example of the comp, okay? There is so many versions as you can go for, this is just one that I just put out. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter what front line you have, as long as you have GA and Shadow Blue Buff LeBlanc, you're going to win the game. That's basically uh, how it is. Uh, it is that busted that you can fast 9 with LeBlanc 1. It's a 2 cost. Okay, let's just keep that in mind. At 1 star, if you have those 2 items and 3 coven, with somehow decent front line, you can fast 9. Um, so that means that you can basically know, maybe on stage 3, that okay, I can fast 9. I already know, I don't need to do anything, I'm just gonna level, put some uh, units in the front line, go fast 9, go into the most cardboard KL, uh, transitioning from LeBlanc, and I'm good to go. And we need to know why this comp is so broken and the reason is leblanc mana is i think at 50 and um once she gets uh below the 60 percent health threshold the shadow buff makes it increase to 50 mana meaning she is casting every single second um meaning that every time she's having the two chains there are two units that are basically not playing the game because they get stunned, and then stunned, and then stunned, and then stunned, and then they die. Uh, and it just keeps on going repetitively until the whole board is gone. Which seems kind of broken, and it is. Um, so, yeah, you need the GH just to make sure that once she, uh, once she revives, she's still on that threshold, so she's still gonna cast, cast, cast. Uh, you do not need any healing items, please do not build Gunblade or Hand of Justice because you want to be under that 60% threshold. Uh, which is another reason why I like positioning her in the middle because you actually don't want her to be safe on each side, you just want her to be in the middle, take some damage and cast, 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 okay? So I'll just show you one example on how you could play this comp. Uh, this is the core. <laughs> That's it. That's the early game. Uh, this is what you should be aiming for in the early game. Of course, those are the items. Preferably Shadow Blue Buff first uh, before the GA, but th this is it. Th that's all. After that, guess what you do? You just add some units for some random synergies. If you see that it's going to be a magic heavy uh, lobby, guess what? I'm Mystic. Maybe you have the Lux. You know, whatever over Mystic, if it's not Lux, it's Lulu. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, this will do the job. After that, guess what? You need an Assassin or you can play Kha'Zix. And later on, once you find a Diana, play the Diana. You know, it's really not that hard. Uh, you can even go for a foreign newer if you want. Uh, that's also a strat. Uh, there is so many things that all you need basically right now is utility, CC, and frontline units. So if you go the usual uh, Nautilus, Royal, God King, of course it's insane. You won't play this flood, you know, it's completely useless. And you, you, this is already really clean, like, it's already really clean. It doesn't matter where you put the Rela this point. You just want to make sure the Coven is on the LeBlanc. That, that's all it is. As long as you have that, you're good to go. Uh, the rest is just full CC. Uh, you just add small synergies, uh, a front line, and you're good to go. Once you're level uh, 9 with having, you know, 20 billion gold because it, we're win streaking with this, uh, transition is actually pretty easy because what you're going to do is set the LeBlanc, the Lissandra, the Diana, the Morgana, and I mean, you should see what I, where I'm going with this if you have watched my videos, right? Uh, you're gonna go to the fast, most capped board in a game, something like this, you know, and whatever else you can hit, it can be Hammer Dagger, for example, and that's it, that's your comp. As far as items, the GA will go strict on the KL, you can put the Shadow Blue Buff on the Imer, the Lux, it doesn't really matter, uh, and you're good to go. That's basically the whole game plan. 
Uh, now we need to talk about how to counter it because yes, there is some counters to it. So I'm just gonna take one uh, meta composition, uh, one over meta composition, uh, and let's talk about what you can do uh, to um, basically kill this comp. And one of the best strategy, of course, is to group up. And the reason for this should be quite obvious because L uh, LeBlanc is an assassin, right? So she would jump towards you. If she j jumps towards your CC, and you know, she just dies without casting, uh, you basically win the fight. And if she dies first without being CC'd, then you have Helios, your Draven, Vakos, Karma, whatever carry you have can uh, kill it before you just instashen your entire team. And that's one way to kill it. You just regroup, CC to death, and then your carry, whoever your carry is, uh, kills after the GA. That's one thing. The other thing that you can do is having some burst. So again, LeBlanc is an assassin, so she's pretty fragile, meaning if you burst her to the GA to death, uh, she will die. So of course the carries can burst through her pretty easily. Uh, if, for example, Mordekaiser uh, is in a backline just waiting for the LeBlanc to attack and he's casting, uh, the one tap should be enough uh, to start to just one shot the LeBlanc and after that your carry can one shot it again. Uh, that's just the two ways that you can counter this comp. There is another one, even though it's not really the best thing that you can do, but if you do have a unit with a QSS, uh, QSS is not a thing by the way, just don't do it, but in this case, if you have a QSS on the unit, or play Verdant, actually, it would be another solution. Uh, just put it here on the unit that's there, just waiting for the LeBlanc. You won't get uh, CC to death, right? And you can just keep on uh, slowly killing the LeBlanc and then your carry can uh, kill it again. And that's the idea, right? You want to have one unit waiting for the LeBlanc in a backline to kill it first uh, through the GA and then have your uh, main carry kill it for the second time, being safe in the corner. Uh, and that's how you counter this comp, guys. Let me know if you do have any questions about uh, how to play it and how to counter it. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time.